right. We're here. I'm already like feeling nervous again. Oh. We gotta complete this escape, man. It is uh, gonna be a challenge, but I did spend some time offline practicing. So I got, I got to a decent point. I've completed all the steps and I, the way I did it was every time I got to like the next level and wanted to practice, I would have to do like a full climb up to that point. So it's like I've climbed and then I'd practice and then I'd climb again and then I'd practice and then climb again and practice. Uh, and so now I have to do the full thing. Uh, for it to be legit. So, that's what we're planning on doing today. Uh, so I also increased the timer by an hour because of that, so... We're now approaching the 27th freaking hour that I've been playing this freaking ROM hack. And I just want to be done. I just want to be done. I'm... <laughs> I'm feeling the burnout a little bit. Ugh. More than a day. I got a funny thing to show later, so... Hopefully Toaster's around for that. But let's... let's give her. Got this. Oh, I am freaking sweaty. All right, go to the far one, go to the opposite side. So kind for putting a uh, little force thing there. How many mess ups can I actually do in a run? I think I get like one or two decently sized mess ups. But we're just practicing and I feel like this one is just going to be like a common reset point while I'm um, making attempts. So I don't feel too bad about like losing at this point. We're still warming up too. So. so, yeah, I have not found a way to, like, make this consistent, or any more consistent, I should say. Yeah, like, at this point, I think the run's technically dead, unless I had, like, a really superb rest of it, but I don't think that's the case. But we'll still practice... one we're not taking too seriously. I don't 
know why it sometimes just like bounces me off. I don't know if like these platforms just have really weird collision. My R jumps have improved though. straight up here uh, so this is the farthest we made it last episode but again I've practiced so I know that I just need to do a dash no nope. yeah so this runs definitely dead Mario jumps, I guess. Yeah, see, I, can, I don't know why you like kind of bounce off sometimes. dash. It's just a straight dash. I don't need to put anything else in. <laughs> Didn't get that one, though. Honestly, like, I might go, like, chalk up my hands. I am sweating so much. Screw it. I'm going to. Okay, my hands have been chalked up, they're dry. Let's give her another go. Let's see, we can do this. We can do this.
Flipping. Oh, that's a that's a big time loss unfortunately falling it right at the end there. Sorry if this isn't the most entertaining episode, but uh got a lot of work to do, so Oh. That last jump's getting me now. See, I, yeah, like, feels like I made it up on that one. And again, that's the one that I fell off. We're getting some R jump practice in. Seems like we're doing a lot better at finding where, like, the edge is. Okay, that one was just bad. Ignore that. It's like we're making it much farther onto this platform, which is good. Okay. So yeah, this isn't <laughs> this isn't gonna be a valid escape attempt, but we'll keep practicing. Yeah, we're doing a lot better on this jump. And this, what do I gotta? What am I doing wrong on that one? Because I used to be able to do that one fine, but now it seems like that one's caused me more troubles. What happened? Is 
there like not enough am i not getting enough yeah i think i need to get like more distance actually because i need like some uh some like s enough space to get the right height oh my god well, i don't know why this dash is like it always seems to be like eating the inputs have to kill Metroid Prime phases at three after escape. Yeah, new boss. But we didn't see Ridley yet, did we? Setting. I literally got this for this room first try uh, when I started uh, the um, practice. But uh, when I'm under a time crunch, it definitely puts the stress on me. Like I can feel so much more um, like shakiness in my controls. My inputs are like my B inputs have been bad.
Still a chance we make it out on this one. Though it's getting less and less, which is unfortunate. I don't know why I put any stick inputs on this one. That's just a really bad beat press. This will be a, an attempt. Yeah. But we can try this a couple times. And by that I mean one times. Okay, you know what? I'm not even mad. We weren't gonna make it out. Whatever. I don't care that the freaking thing didn't work. Ugh. We can do that jump. Um, just to save me waiting like 30 seconds each time. Um, when we're. I think we're gonna go for actual attempts. Um, so I'm just going to save state at the bottom here, just so that I don't have to wait, you know, time to, um, reset. Cause like, it's like, there's like 10 seconds, 15 seconds of just sitting here doing nothing. So I'd rather just not have to worry about it. Welcome in, bruh. Struggling getting the jump straight onto that platform, which would save me a couple seconds. Oh my god, I'm so stiff, man, I'm so stiff. Now that attempt we got the first try um, boost, which is nice, but I don't expect that'll happen on too many attempts. Yeah. Again, make those bigger. I, it's like, I don't know. It's not like I'm magically timing it to like be in one of those cracks. I think it's just annoyingly close together.
that was so early. And so away from the edge. Understandable on that one is weird. Nice. Plenty of time until there's a puzzle coming up. There isn't. Can I save? I'm gonna save. Save complete. We did it. We frickin' did it. Game not over? We're out? Hey, there was- I saw the boost ball there. Okay, so, I'm- So, mo boost ball's been removed. I'm taking it. Ah, uh, the Ridley fight. Please let this be the end. Oh my god. At some point, stop. <laughs> Please. Just let me be free. Honestly, though, like 20 minutes of attempts after practice, that was good. I'm really happy that we got that. I'm, s I'm certainly happy that we got that. <laughs> No cutscenes get slow. Alright, Ridley, let's do this. A bit loud. Just a tiny bit loud. Hey, where's my boost? Can't boost. I want to do tons of damage. Am I? Could I be like immune to Ridley ground phase up here? Not the flying phase, apparently. Is boostless strats other than just like spam missiles yeah but then I have no missiles for later I don't 
have enough missiles for all of it. I figured Exoskip was in bad faith for Fool, since there would be some shenanigans. Bruh, did you play through this? I don't know who's on the list of people that beat this. I've been very cautious about seeing people play this, so I, I went in totally blind. Like, I saw the trailer, and that was it. phase. Oh, nice. Dash right off the start. Very good. Uh, some people have done some speedrun parts of Fool. Like, I know some people have, like, I think, like, Justin's done some, uh, like, tasks, things to, like, proof of concept how, like, good certain stuff could be. But yeah, it's like knowing what you know now, like, how fast could you go through it. Could be interesting. I'm not gonna do it. Warping? Where are we warping to? Save memory card? Is this my boost ball? Nice. been done. We did it. We did it. After 27 and a half hours, it's done. Credits. Thank you to everyone who made this game. The base game. Morph ball. Missile launcher, yeah. Morph ball bombs. I'm gonna th this is intended item order, I think. Sun chamber. Charge beam. Chocolate elders, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vanilla? Is this even randomized? Again, vanilla. Vanilla. Wow. Let's 
boots, the quarters. Yes, thank you very much. Lorhe's key ring. Uh huh. <laughs> Phase on suit. Through a lot of the friends we made along the way. First pass. So yeah, that's where you said you wanted people to try Parasite Queen. Second pass was Space Jump. First pass to UBJ. The Parasite Queen... That one was just killing the Parasite Queen, right? <clears throat> also, welcome in Toaster. Thank you for the GGs. I'm curious about... The Parasite Queen. What you mean about that. Because you needed... Oh, I guess second pass space jump or UBJ, because you had to go back. You had to grab power bombs and then go back, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading that. Missile expansion. You could have had 172, but you chose to support diversity in local businesses instead. Okay. Oh, so like if I take the zoomers, one despawns. Okay, one's in Talon. Magmore we got. Fendra and Adris we got. So one's in Talon. Okay. So we could maybe take a look. We got time. Like, we've only been streaming for 40 minutes. Vanak Tools. Toaster Party. As a real, uh... Putting the, the words on... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, water Pool Morph Track. Reggie and Reggie, nice. Playtesters, cool, cool. Developer time, five months. Those are personal best, 7-Eleven IGT. Let's check out what our in-game time is. A three minute escape, three minutes remaining. I wonder how ours was. We messed up, what, two or three times? Two times? Two boosts and one jump is that it I don't know we did the we did it pretty well though nine tanks yeah not happening <laughs> you're welcome for playing you're welcome for giving an a full over a full day of my life to this One percent. Fifteen hours, forty-two minutes in game time. So, something funny that I I remember from before I started this. So, right when Toaster released Fool, um, I was I was a few days away from going to Japan for a month. So, but I was curious because I didn't want to get spoiled on it. So I said, <laughs> I, I asked Toaster. We'll bring it up here. I asked. Do you have a rough time estimate of how long this should take? I was curious if I had time in a single session or should I plan more time? <laughs> you will not finish in the first session. Well, no kidding. That's knowing what we know now, that was <laughs> Oh, how naive I was. Yeah. Yep, I was like, "Oh, maybe I can complete it in uh you know, in less than four days before I, I head out. 
Wow, that would have been a bad time. That would have been a bad time. Ugh. All right, well, that's good. We did it. Um, yeah, that was just something funny that had been, I, I wanted to do that like kind of throwback reveal <laughs> since like the start, I was like, I was like, I wonder if it's going to take me that long. And like, as it kept going out and it's like, oh my God, it's reaching a day of playtime. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, we've been here for 40 minutes. Huh? <laughs> what? Anyways, question marks is okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, this is like... Okay. I like boost wall back. So we're not in... Oh, because like the credits is its own area, right? So... Like I'm actually in credits right now? Or like... Right before... I want to do the first thing. I don't want to do the second two. Well, I mean, that's a th there was nothing to go off of. Like, no hack had ever taken... would ever take this long. Hey, why is there... Uh... What's that all about? Warp to escape sequence. Uh, did I figure out why you can't 100% yet? Uh, apparently because I took a zoomer. Because I supported the local economy, it said. Oh, did it, did it cost two missiles every time? Or is it... Every time? Oh my god, so every time I was fall... I, I didn't even re realize that. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's, that's different than... Um... I thought it was. I thought it was like complete, like you missed pickups. Removing max capacity, I'm, because I had like a whole issue before about missing 100% because, um, I, I thought you meant like specifically like expansions that would just be like wiped off the table. Capacity, I'm fine. That's funny. Um, so yeah. I resend some of my comments before, but of course I couldn't know that until after I finished. Um, okay, so Talon, what do we actually have? I doubt it's over here. Talon Canyon's kind of interesting. You said you said only one person's found this. Does it require out of bounds? Because like I can look out of bounds, but I just want to know if I don't have to look out of bounds. My guess is it's in Frigate, and that's why a lot of people miss it. I wonder... Oh, I don't have Faves on suit anymore, right? Yeah, so... I could have went back into Frigate with, um... I could have probably went back in here and been immune to the damage and looked around. But I didn't.
key back? Placeholder key, I see. Maybe are you saying three to the amount of shinies, or how many people actually um, found the remaining? I could have swore he said it was just one, but that's also ridiculously low. Here's why I didn't get a response to the out of bounds question now. Does that mean I must be out of bounds? Question mark? No, no way. During this riveting gameplay? No, that's probably a very likely call. I'm gonna guess it's in like a tall room somewhere. Um, okay. It hasn't just been like above me the whole time, has it? It's in Talon. I know there's... Way to get up here somehow. I've done it before. fall dingus oh I'm so relaxed I should have had a heart rate sensor uh, heart rate monitor like uh, Caesar's guy going for the races by the way check out the echoes tournament if you are not birds does it involve killing all the birds Wouldn't that be something? Okay, so that's not it, I don't think.
I'm curious if it is like audible from inbounds. So how are you supposed to cross this? If there's... Can you land on that little thing right there? I hate... I honestly hate that I recorded this trick and people are like, do this, it's easier than the dash. And it's like, this sucks. This trick stinks. Don't do this. Just do the dash. Thank you. Did I make it here before? Then what's the point if... Like, how are you supposed to get across? I'm just curious how you avoid the zoomers. the shiny is yet it's in talon but i don't know where it is we're on the hunt for it people not find it hmm. right <sighs> got me again So that's the thing I don't get. Like, you fall down and then you're... You can't get up on this side? Unless I'm, like, missing... Some standable somewhere? No. Seems weird. I don't like that you can't go back. Without taking the thing both ways. Not because I don't want to support the economy, but... It's just kind of a pain. I 
I'm assuming that I can see it in thermal. Why does this trigger seem so much larger than it usually is? I gotta imagine it's in... I don't know. Like, Great Tree Hall has a lot of spots. Like, I'm trying to think of where... Where can you put things? This room's got an ass secret world, so I thought maybe something could be hidden up there. Hold on. What's all this about? Huh? I don't remember seeing that. Nice. That is a tough one. I guess I could jump from this side, right? Probably. Down. So we found it. That's good. It's half the battle. Getting up to it. Okay, I gotta assume I gotta use this slope here. <laughs> Crap, I made it up, but I, uh, I panicked. Way too far, way too far. We don't get to hear this music enough, so I'm happy to stick around in Far Talon. Hmm. I don't know uh, why it's pushing me off so thoroughly. time it went way over. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can like let go of L and it does something else for you. Anyways, look, we're here. We got another while that we can go and not be disappointed in this.
again, I'm like sliding. I'm getting like way too much distance. I can just R jump this, right? Of course I can. After everything I've been through. There it is. We've done it. All the bonus content. Yeah, 100% enough. So, um, what did I think? I think it was really cool, of course. I mean, the stuff that Toaster was able to pull off with this is insane. I mean, five months of work definitely shows uh, how challenging was it for me very challenging obviously we've been here for quite some time um, big things that um, what's it called the only parts that really stuck out for me for like re like challenge that I personally I just struggle with is like both the timing ones so the frigate escape and the um, what's it called the frigate escape and um, the uh, crater escape and then flogra I isn't a timing one but like almost was because of just like the amount of health health um jungle boss welcome in um we're done we 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 beat it so and um, we just found the last shiny missile and we've already done the escape so i'm just wrapping up with like uh some final thoughts um despite the challenges i mean like a lot of it was my own skill issue um like the r jumps i half of it i think was just finding where my feet were um because uh there was I was getting a lot more distance and like comfortably making it on those platforms um, this escape. So I think if I went back and did frigate again, I'm not going to do that. Um, would be would be better. Um, so just sitting down and like practicing some of the jumps. Uh, the last uh, shiny was over here in Great Tree Hall. Um, Trial of Strength had one in Gully, but there was one uh, hiding up here with uh, Thermal Pfizer helping us out. Um, what else? Lots of cool puzzles. I like the way like you use some of the early enemies. Um, if we just go through like little boss fight here, I tried to do something like this with um, New Path when I used the two turrets in. Um, Main vent shaft C or B, yeah, that one. Um, so I, I like that. Um, immediately starting off with hard platform and canyon, and again, skill issues for me in main plaza just from all the <laughs> me being kind of crappy with L jumps. Um, so that was fun. I I'm shocked we got magma pool so or water pool, sorry, so quickly after the um. just like with my morph ball skills being subpar there's all sorts of little funny business like the random lava here would my life have been easier with flogger if i had gotten watery hall e-tank definitely i don't think by a huge lot though um what else like yeah just something as simple as zoid was funny just like with the really quick timings Hive Totem was jank, but I mean, you gotta try something, right? <laughs> it was still, it was really creative. Um, uh, uh, yes, yeah, sun, sun Chamber was definitely a sticking point for me. 
Um, I think Fen was honestly our best segment. Like, I think we did really well in Fen. Um, getting around, like, getting charge, getting boost. Um, the labs fights were kind of tough, but we made it through pretty quick. Just had to be a little bit more safe. The, like, orbit dash was cool. Um, I'm familiar with water physics, so that wasn't that bad. Magmore. Um, geothermal core. So the first pass was really tough on me because I had a skill issue and I, I found the solution and then messed it up and then um, kept repeating myself over and over again and just not doing the correct thing. So geothermal core part one was definitely my issue. I don't think the challenge was that intense. Other than that last grapple jump, which I think we got fairly quickly. Um, relatively quickly. But yeah, part one. Part two, I didn't mind that much, honestly. I think we got it pretty fast, which maybe is why I feel that way. And I could have probably spent more time there. Um, but honestly, not not my least favorite room in the game, for sure. Um, what else? This stupid shiny here. <laughs> that took too long. Found a new way to do it, though, so that's cool. Um, monitor station it was interesting, um, especially like the puzzle afterwards. I really liked what you did there. Um, the 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 like first pass stuff was uh, was nice. It was rough knowing. Well, I guess you're pretty close to the save, but yeah, it's like going through. Especially when I was didn't find a consistent way for Triclops Pit, I was using my scuffed version. Um, it just made retrying it a little harder, but we found it. But I, I don't think it was like particularly challenging. So um, it was a longer trip, but yeah, none of it was like difficult per se. Um, what else? Uh. Mines, upper mines was practically vanilla. The maze was was something. We once we started mapping it out, we got out. And that was fine. MQA very fun. Got it decently quickly. Like we were taking like our usual like hour mark for some of the harder puzzles. I still think that like moving the the reset down to the bottom of the room would have been nice instead of having to roll all the way back up personally after many attempts it was would have been nice for me um fungal hall a was which one's that that one was something i think i remember going through this one pretty quickly but B took us a little while with the funky platforms. That one was fun, though. I really liked that one. Um, you put the nice save point in the, or at least checkpoint near the map room, so you didn't have to go all the way back, which is very nice. Uh, MQB was fine. Elite Quarters, what a weird one. Um, I think we got lucky with drops, and that's what happened. <laughs> I think if I would would have just got unlucky repeatedly then yeah it would have been bad oh yeah thardis we forgot about that super cool boss fight um i like i really like what you did there i think that's like one of my favorite parts of the hack um even if we did just like chill out with the jazz music playing um i definitely like that one a lot uh frigate i'm glad grapple uh grapple jumps made it in that's it's cool Made me learn something new that I knew of, but I was actually had to get some practice. Um, Life Grove, I knew I knew where you were gonna put that button to lower the water, so that was cool. Yeah, this this escape was just it was really tight for me. Like I had max E tanks too, and I only made it out with seventy one health. So like, yeah, rough for me. 
it was rough for me. And part of that was just failing the R jumps over and over again, which again, yes, skill issue. So <laughs> anyways, but it, it was a it was a neat concept and like forcing you to go through backwards and having the key like so close. Although I, I, th I think I had a really bad reading comprehension error with the, um, the hint here. But anyways, that's on me again. Reading skill issue. And, uh, but yeah, going through Crossway from the top was pretty cool. Um, because I didn't exactly know where this was going to go. I was just rounding up more, like, E-Tanks and checks. So, finding this was, um, it was, like, pretty organic. And that was nice. Um, Chozo fights were a little slow. It, like, I don't know, you're trying to make them interesting, but when they kept getting knocked out of bounds, kind of stank. Uh, this freaking R jump. I'm I'm glad we found another way to get up though. Again, just random, random stuff. Uh, that standable slope jump was pretty neat. So yeah, I mean that's, I mean, that's most of it. Um, oh yeah, tower of tower of darkness. Oh yeah, it, it did get dark. So see, we got some some renamed rooms. Uh, yeah, definitely fun. There's some, like, tweaks that I would make to personally make my life easier, but would that make it better? No one's going to know. Um, yeah, I mean, like, for everything you did, that's this is a sweet hack. This is a very good showcase of, like, what's actually possible. So I'm excited to get to use some of these tools in the future. Yeah, man. I mean, good job. GG's. Oh, with that, though, I think we'll call her. I actually have to do some more work tonight, so that's fun. So I'm glad to get this out of the way. <laughs> it gives me more time to not stress. All right, thanks for hanging out. We will see you next mission in a while, because we don't have any more of this to play. Yes. I'm glad to be free. I had a lot of fun, but I'm also glad to be free. I was feeling burnout at the end, and... Like, I mean, just looking at that timer, it's like we've been here for a while, and yeah. I'm definitely no expert at this game, so the fact that I was able to do it without save states, other than some practicing, but eh. That would have just, that just saved me a couple hours of doing those jumps. It's, I did it all in one go, so there you go. Whatever. I don't care. I don't owe you anything. Don't you take this away from me. Anyways. See you next mission.